In this episode of ChatGPT vs. CFP, we're going to ask the question, what do rich people know that poor people don't? And depending on the answer, we're going to find out whether or not I still have a job. I'm not threatened by the chatbot. Hi, I'm Mike, a CFP who's dedicated his career to helping people quit the rat race. So if you want to level up your finance game with someone who actually does this stuff for a living, Start now by subscribing and clicking on the bell to make sure you don't miss out on anything. The format of this series is we're going to ask three questions of increasing complexity to see how well the chatbot performs. Then I will respond to each question and or comment on the chatbot's responses. And then finally, be sure to stick around to the end where I'll fill in any gaps that there may be in the chatbot's answers. Question number one. What do rich people know that poor people don't? All right, the intro... Financial literacy, okay. Networking is an odd one. Risk taking, all right, we'll focus on that. Goal setting is okay. And mindset, sure. So I realize this is a bit of a challenging question because there's not much context for the chatbot to provide sort of a specific answer. So we're gonna focus on risk taking. Of course, that's a principle of uh, finance, um, where there is risk, there is reward. Uh, but what it really doesn't go into here is the need to take calculated risks, of course, but the ability for you to, if the risk is so great that you lose every dollar, that that does not derail you from all your other financial goals. But, you know, to be fair, it's kind of a, a broad question. It doesn't really know how to focus in. So let's uh, dial this in for the chatbot and see how things improve. Question number two. What habits can I use to improve my finances? All right, the intro. Create a budget. That's good. Uh, save regularly. All right. Avoid unnecessary expenses. Okay, that's kind of the same. Pay off debt. Sure. Invest for the future. Okay. Seek financial education. And then the caveat or summary at the end here. So again, all good principles. I don't dispute anything here. There's nothing earth shattering, meaning there's no like secret knowledge that we can glean from um, best practices of the rich and famous, as it were, uh, at least not as far as the chatbot is concerned. Now I'm curious, uh, if the first one was too broad and the second one wasn't really getting us those practices that are gonna yield really great results, Let's try giving it a specific wealthy person who works in the field of finance and will frequently comment on good personal finance um, for the average person. And of course, I'm talking about Warren Buffett. So that's going to be our third question. What advice does Warren Buffett give to average people on building wealth? All right, the intro, invest in yourself, sure, keep things simple. Okay, keep it simple. Be patient, that's good. Avoid debt, of course. Live below your means, that's good cash flow. And don't try to time the market, all right. So I misspelled Warren Buffett's name. That's Warren Buffet. I'm gonna highlight a couple of these. Uh, keep things simple. Advocates for simple, low-cost investment strategies such as index funds. Now that is a good tip, and it's against a lot of the education, quote unquote, that's out there uh, by people who claim to know what the next great investment is. He's just saying, keep it simple. We know it builds wealth, so do that. Be patient. That actually is a really great tip. And again, it's counter to what all the get rich quick schemes are about. Um, avoid debt. Debt is something that takes money out of your pocket. So I'm going to agree that avoiding high interest consumer debt is important. However, all debt is not created equal. If you take out a mortgage, for instance, the interest rates are quite low because it's secured by an asset. There's good debts too. And so I wanna give that caveat because I know there's a lot of financial literature out there that says just get rid of all debt. You could be shooting yourself in the foot. And it did take a little bit, you know, getting back to the chat GPT feature, it did take a little bit of asking questions that got us to a place where we're actually learning what some of these principles are, and they are good principles. So I would say that on this case, we're gonna give ChatGPT what? Like a B minus, B? 
Now maybe you have a financial question that you're super curious how my answer might differ from that of the chatbot. Go ahead and drop that question in the comment section below and maybe I'll answer it.